So y'all, I roasted the garlic. I'm finna get ready and chop up this stuff to do my baked pork chops with my shrimp. But I wanted to show y'all the garlic. Look at that. Gooey, brown. I'm going to make a pesto out of it. And that's what's up. So this is what I'm going to be using to make the pork chops. Uh, I have sliced onions, sliced green and yellow bell pepper. Uh, I have some parsley. I have some roasted garlic. And I have some olive oil. Green, uh, uh, yellow bell pepper. Some roasted good garlic. And that's about it. I is TT. Nephew. Nephew. <laughs> Goodbye. So, the vegetables have been washed off. That's why they're all mixed together. Um, You'll need a tablespoon of butter. This is the pork chops recipe, not the shrimp yet. Um, So, you have your pork chop. Um, it's from the vegetables. But you have your pork chop, and you'll need garlic, olive oil, uh, whatever vegetables you decide to use, and seasonings. So I already have my oven preheated. So the first thing I'm going to do is just drizzle some olive oil. Not a lot. And I'm also going to place some in the pan that I'm going to be baking it in. So I wanted to use a square pan. But I just did not have it. Um, I forgot to grab it while I was at the store. And the first thing we're going to use is the 14 spice. Uh, the one I showed y'all. Zero sodium. Zero everything. And then we're going to have the pepper. This is not the pan I'm going to use. This is just the seasoning pan. You know, black folks always got to reuse everything. I could not get the pepper open. So, now I'm just doing the pepper. And then you're going to... Because what you're going to do is pound that seasoning in there. So, now I have the salt-free all-purpose season and I'm just going to season it all over the workout was so awesome today but I'm so tired and that's the adobo so now, this was the fun part. I didn't get a chance to record it because I don't have anyone to hold my camera for me. Basically, I just dug the roasted uh, garlic out. And I'm just going to coat it all over my hands so I can rub it all over the meat. So I can season the whole meat. And I'm going to do that to both of them. I'm hoping this comes out really good and not too garlicky but I love garlic flavor over everything and then you just want to press that seasoning in there my baby daddy taught me this don't judge me Gordon Ramsay he is the love of my life period if he wasn't married we'll be married okay so just toss them in the olive oil now, you're just going to take your vegetables and you're going to just lay them. I'm saving the rest for my shrimp, which you guys will also see. And then you just want to take the tablespoon of butter. And there you go. And this is how it's going to go in the oven. And in this pot, I'm also going to do uh, cheesy broccoli. But that will be towards the end of the pork chops being done.
So the pork chops are done. I should have let them rest before I cut into them. But they're done. So now I'm just letting the pan heat up. And the broccoli, I'm waiting for that to get good before I start adding everything to it. And yeah, the broccoli is boiling. I'm not going to do that much to the broccoli because it was packaged already. So it doesn't need that much. I'm just going to put some salt-free seasoning. And let that be it. This pan is steaming hot now. You always want to wait until your pan is steaming hot. And you want to give your oil a chance to get hot. Oh, it burned me. Shoot. So. Yes. So, I'm just going to pick up these vegetables. I'm going to turn the pan down some. Yeah, both of the pans. And you're just going to go until they get nice and soft. They don't have to be incredibly soft. This is something new for me that I'm doing. I've never tried to cook shrimp this way. I'm going to add the garlic now. Well, I'm going to rub the shrimp with garlic. So I rub the shrimp with garlic. That color is just the garlic alone. So these vegetables look like they are ready for the shrimp to go in so I'm just gonna take some of this shrimp boil and season it it has way less salt than Obey okay I'm just going to mix it now so now that's ready to be dropped off. Okay, so now I'm just going to stir fry it. Okay, and I'm just going to cook it. I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit more now. And now I'm going to stir the broccoli. Okay, so those are coming along good. So now I'm just going to add the cheese to the broccoli. And I want it to be like that, um, that Boston Market cheesy broccoli. That's why I have water at the bottom, so it can be kind of like that. Hopefully that comes out so good. It looks good already. So these shrimp here, they look to be almost done.
shrimp don't take long to cook. So. I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of more seasoning. That looks absolutely good. Okay. So, thank you guys for watching. That's pretty much it. The broccoli looks to be just about done. And that's the exact color that I wanted it to be. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.